this time from Masters of the Universe Classics, we're taking a look at Adora, the former Force Captain of the Horde, and now leader in the Great Rebellion. Before we take a look at the figure, we'll take a look at the back of the package here. And you can see many of the figures pictured on the back there. And the bio with the classic or vintage box art there. So taking a look at the figure now. I believe this figure was offered in 2010. I can't remember exactly. It was one of the first female figures besides Tila. I think even before She-Ra. Uh, and uh, seeing as how I got her as a reoffered figure on sale for the month of May at MaddieCollector.com. Uh, I can see where as a figure uh, the Queen Marlena slash Captain Glenn owes a lot to her body sculpt. Uh, and you could say that the character here does draw a lot from the Captain Glenn design, because, uh, you know, within the world, chronologically, uh, Marlena Glenn, or Captain Glenn, would come before Adora. And you can see that in the sort of onesie suit that she has for her tunic, uh, although this time it is not green but red, and she doesn't have leggings, just uh, bare legs. Um, but the boots and gauntlets are pretty similar. She even has a similar pistol and holster. In fact, I think they're probably, for the figures, uh, they reuse the same exact parts. Um, and see here that, yes indeed, it is actually the same gun, uh, just painted differently with a, you know, a much lighter silver with gold accents. And you can see the gold continues on to the holster there. Uh, very nice paint job. I only have one real uh, or couple gripes here down here on our leg I don't know if you can see but there's some red spots here that I think are from the paint on the inside of the tunic or one piece there uh, I do have this black spot on our leg that uh, doesn't seem to want to go away um, and that's about it. All the rest of the paint is pretty clean. Even the white is white. Not as white as some of the later figures, uh, but still whiter than some of the DC Universe classics that we've seen. Very lovely face and hair sculpt, although the paint on the hair could have been uh, done a little bit better uh, with, you know, a wash or something to give it a little bit more body uh, look to it rather than just you know kind of looks plastic right there I mean it is plastic but you know with some shading there it could look a little bit more realistic so for accessories uh, she does you've already seen the blaster that she comes with and of course she comes with a um, sword 
the Sword of Protection, I believe it is. And uh, although it does have a very straight jewel compared to the She-Ra figure that I got, uh, on one side it seems like the uh, people at Mattel or the factory went crazy with the glue. So there's a lot of residue on top of the gem, uh, making it a little bit less shiny uh, compared to this side. And you can even notice a few scratches on the blade there in the paint. Um, so, uh, better than the She-Ra figure that I have with the sword. Uh, but... You know, still room for improvement. I was hoping that I'd get a perfect sword. Um, this is near perfect. Oh, uh, one thing I should mention is that she does have a little place for you to store the sword on her back. Um, kind of wondering why they didn't do that with Adam. Uh... You know, I wonder if they forgot to do that uh, for some reason. But you can store her sword on the back there until she's ready to draw it and become She-Ra. So for articulation, it's pretty standard for female. Uh, her head goes left and right, up and down. It is a little bit hindered by the mold of the hair. Um... Her arms do go all the way around. Uh, they do run into a little bit of trouble with the uh, tunic here, top of the tunic, but um, it is soft enough to get out of the way, bend out of the way. Uh, her, her arms do go out and in, rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and she rotates at the wrist as well. Uh, she does not have any articulation on the waist or something because of the one piece part of her uh, you know, outfit there. But her legs do go forward and back pretty far as well as out to the side very nicely. Uh, she bends at the knee she rotates at the boot, and her ankles bend forward and back, and her ankles also pivot very nicely. You have the broken ankle pivot there. So you can get her in some pretty wide spread poses there. Now she's of course the female half of the twin uh, the twins born to Randor and Marlena. And she was kidnapped by Hordak and raised on Etheria and grew up to become the force captain of the Horde and uh, was there, was a leader, thought the Horde were the good guys until uh, the sorceress sent He-Man to find her and deliver her the Sword of Protection, which she received and uh, used to transform into the uh, powered She-Ra, and she then becomes part of the Great Rebellion, and uh, she's, of course, reunited with her parents, but she does stay on Etheria to uh, be a leader of the rebellion and using her experience as a horde captain to uh, lead. Now, uh, according to various card backings of the uh, Masters of the Universe classics, uh, apparently the rebellion forces Hordak and the Horde off of Etheria and they flee to Eternia and she and 
uh, some of her allies follow them and link up with the masters who are at that time on the run from Skeletor who has taken over uh, because uh, there's now the Horde, Skeletor, and the Snake Men, and they're all battling it out, and apparently King Randor was thrown off into Despondo in the Mike Young 2002 series, uh, which, uh, if there had been a third season, I believe they would have introduced She-Ra to that universe and continued on with all the stuff that they've been talking about in the bios. Adora finally completes that subset of the royal family of Randor, Captain Glenn, and Prince Adam. That little subset of the Masters collection is done for me. So I guess that'll be it for Adora, and stay tuned for more Masters of the Universe Classics reviews. I believe the next review isn't for going to be for a while unless a, a good reoffer pops up uh, in the meantime. But I believe the next figure I'm going to get is Spike War. Until then, I'll see you.